studied on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the BT Sports Hub today in Stratford. With me, I've got Frank Warren's newest sign-in, heavyweight Nathan Gorman. Nathan, um, training with Ricky Atten, sign with uh, Frank Warren now. Yeah, it doesn't get any better, does it, mate? Two British boxing legends together. You now I get the chance to work with them, so... Yeah, Two characters as well, I mean... Oh, 100%. I bet they've had some time together. I think that's for a different time. I think that could be for a book. Then, definitely, then definitely, definitely write a book. <laughs> um, obviously, you see the rapport up there. The three of you working pretty well together with uh, rolling in the middle. Um, big times ahead? Yeah, definitely. You know, Now I've got the chance working with Frank, BT Sport and Box Nation. Now I can showcase my skills on the big platform. And I've got the, I've got the chance now, so it's up to me to grab it with both hands, which I will do. Obviously, you said, was it 11 amateur fights? 11 amateur fights, yeah. I've got in the Great Britain squad, uh, yeah, under nine won the ABAs and stuff, went to the World Championships. So I'm very, very inexperienced as an amateur. I've been 16 months pro now, and I've had nine pro fights, so basically I'm nearly had the same amount Seven of pro fights. Well. Yeah. Seven knockouts as well. Seven knockouts, yeah. So you've got a bit of power. Um, Packing a bit of a punch. Talk to me about this fighting blood that you've got. Obviously, I think I've interviewed you before, but you never, you mentioned it a little bit, we never went into detail. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Well, my great uncle Bartley was king of the gypsies. You know, bare knuckle boxer, he was undefeated. He was reigning for about 20, 30 years. It was not just my uncle, it was my great grandfather, my four world champions, bare knuckle, and my great great grandfather above that. So really there's a lot of fighting in my in my in my blood, if you know what I mean. But my dad always wanted to keep me out of the bare knuckle situation. And to be honest with you, he didn't really want me to do boxing, it was just me. I just love boxing. I drove him drove him mad to take me to the gym and he took me once and that was it. Here I am today. I mean great, I think I think you're sitting there probably thinking, oh thank god I did that, eh? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, sparring wise, I spoke to Dominic Akinlade, uh, your former opponent. Yeah. Turned sparring partner now, it's good the boxer's been yeah, doing that. Yeah, we were sparring all last week, you know, he's, he's a nice man, Dominic. He's uh, come down, full week, we sparred Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Done some good rounds together, you know, he's a, he's a really nice fella, you never hold no bad blood against it. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a business, isn't it? I mean, I know he was gutted about that result and he's yeah, obviously moving on to better things now, I mean, but you got the win over him, a former it was Southern Area champion, yeah, yeah. I believe. Um, so you've got some names on your record, but, I mean, but looking for a better stands of opponent now? Yeah, I'm fighting in uh, Blackpool, 15th. Then I'm fighting for the English title against Nick Webb. You know, he's unbeaten 12-0, and 9 knockout. You know, apparently he's a big power puncher. So I'm meant to be fighting him in September time. It's an exciting fight. I've seen that. Well. Yeah, it'll be a good fight. it be explosive, definitely. That, is that going to be up north or are you going to try and get it down here? I don't know yet. don't know. Definitely don't, don't, blink, don't, don't blink on don't, that one. Don't bring it too far away. I want to watch that one. <laughs> Um, Frank Warren, when he when the offer got put to you, did you have to think twice? Um, no, obviously not, because Frank's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? For the job he done with Rick, so if he can do half what he done with Rick with me, I'd be very happy. Obviously, someone tried to uh, stir the pot by mentioning Daniel Dubois in there. Um, you said you done loads of rounds with him at loads GB. Of rounds, loads of rounds. Good kid. Good prospect, you know. Same as myself. He's young. Wants to fight. He's he's dedicated, same as myself, I reckon you never know. A couple of years down the line, year down the line. Depending on Frank. You never know what could happen, do you? I think I had a look at your date of birth the other day and I think you're about a year and a half older than me. Yeah. A year and a half older than me. <laughs> I can't even grow a beard yet. <laughs> I, honest to God. I've got I've got my head upside down, that's what it is. I think I mean what what have you been eating? Because I need to jump on this diet. Everything, everything, eat everything. Eat everything. I, I, I mean, generally, like, him as well, in there, he's like, I think like five months older than me, and he's I know, like, yeah. something in the water, I think, mate, I think I've missed out on that. It's a northern water, I think. He's not even northern, he's from London. True, so yeah. Yeah, there's no excuses there, I think I'm just low. Yeah. I'm undernourished, I think that's the word. <laughs> um, down in London for long, or are you going back up to Manchester? I'm here, I'm here till Sunday, actually, Sunday morning, I'm going down to uh, the fights that day, support okay. his teammate Daryl, he's fighting that Jermaine Smile, be a good fight that, it was a good fight last time. So yeah, I'm down here. I've been, I've been up here this week sparring, to be fair. I've been sparring um, in David Ace gym, Monday and Wednesday. Who are you sparring there? Uh, Joe Joyce. Good sparring? Yeah, very good sparring. I see that uh, David put a photo up of him and Rick saying that they've been doing a bit. Have they been doing a bit? No, no. No? That was just all for, all for fun. All banner? Yeah. All banner. People got the wrong end of stick about them, didn't they? <laughs> I found it quite funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, a big fight that's well, been announced a few weeks ago now, Conor McGregor versus uh, Floyd Mayweather. What yeah. do you make of it? Well, I can't see. In my perspective, look what Mayweather had done to Canelo. Canelo was a superior boxer. Boxer now. Yeah. So how in chant, how in God's name, can Conor McGregor beat Mayweather? Has he got a puncher's chance? Well, if anyone had a puncher's chance, wouldn't the 49 others have a puncher's chance? True. But you, d you never say never. 
you never say never, but for me, I reckon it's a total mismatch. I reckon Mayweather will just demolish him. Different worlds, isn't it, boxing MMA? It's like saying, would Floyd beat Conor in MMA? He isn't, is he? But then you've got to ask the other question, is there anyone you wouldn't fight for $80 million? <laughs> exactly, I'd fight them there for $80 million today. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that wouldn't be the smartest idea, I don't think you'd be, uh, have your licence for long, but let's just let's take a chew on that one, stick to the ring. Yeah. But um, obviously, Nathan, uh, congratulations on signing. Yeah, um, thank you. Best luck in training, best luck in Blackpool. I'm sure I'll catch up with you before the Nick. Yeah, 100%. But until then, thanks for talking to IFL TV, and I'll catch up with no you soon. No problem, mate.